Wait, I needed a merger. Okay, let's try. Your belt has an invalid shape. Okay, this is just too tight an area. But unless I can somehow change this. Okay then. Okay, I have an idea. So let's clear this out again. Oh my god, this is so, so complicated. I want this finished. Okay, so we do need to back this up a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, this power line is actually pissing me off. Damn. Okay, so... You know, let's back it up a little bit. Now I want to fix this. Okay. There we go. You are fixed. Pushed you back a little bit. Well, not completely fixed just yet. I need to add. Let's see, will this interfere with anything? Please don't interfere with anything. Let's try this first. Wait. We doing it? There we go. Now we do need to replace the conveyor belts back there. But... We got this working again. So now we can this. Yeah, let's just grab that.
Can we... What is this shape? What is that weird shape? Damn. But you know what? It's... Oh shit. Didn't want to do that. Yeah, this will work. So let's just feed you in here. Instead of trying to feed the first one. Wait a minute. Why don't we just do this pattern? Line it up like this. No, wait, not there. Put you up here. Nice. Okay, I think I figured this out. Okay, that's already set up. We just need to connect these. Except we can't connect these. Fuck. Wait. Okay, connect this over here. Floor is too steep. Okay, we need to somehow... Once we connect this here... Okay, this will work. Then we can connect it there. Alright, we figured this out. Finally. Okay, so these front constructors will feed to the top. Except this one. This back one will feed to the top instead. This front one will feed to the bottom. And then the back row feed onto the bottom. Perfect. And then we can just repeat this pattern if we need more iron plates. So this is done. Oh my god. I am glad that is over. So our iron plates are up here now. After all that trouble. Now our screws need to be brought back over here. Okay, bring it up here. But we don't need this here.
Then we bring screws here. So we will have screws here and plates here. Okay, I think we got this. Screws here. Iron plates over here. Then we'll bring third assembler. Okay, screws here. Iron plates over here. All right, we're doing it. Oh my god, this is taking a long time. We still need to power this, fuck. Put you here. Here. You. Over here. Now we connect these together. We need to bring power up. Are there like vertical power lines or something like that? I guess this will work. Or hang on. We do this. Yeah, this will work. Then we just need to connect these. Alright, let's drop down, or we don't need to drop down, we just need to connect this to something else. And we'll connect it here. Unless it's not connected. No, it's not. Oh yeah, we... Disconnected one of the power poles. We were constructing this. There we go. Okay, all that is turned on. So we should now be getting... Oh yeah, everything's being fed into this. Are we even using the right one? Okay, so screws should be being added to the... Is it? Okay. Screws should be being added to the machines. Unless I screwed something up. Probably did. Let's double check to make sure everything's working okay. Oh, that's what I did. So actually, what I need to do... ...is use this. There we go. And then, for rods, we bring it across this way, uninterrupted. And that works. Finally doing it. This machine is finally getting resources it needs to produce more iron plates.
And then while all of that is happening... You know what? We're going to take it a little bit further. And we are... Fluid buffer. Okay, we'll take it a little bit further. And... The merger right here. And connect this all up. Five parts a minute. Wait, hold on. Is there a, bo a bottleneck somewhere here? Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it. Hang on. We need to upgrade this. That's why it's not as fast as it should have been. Man, this thing seems completely saturated, though. Well, let's double check to see if that's the case. But guys, I honestly want to move on to something else, but I can't until I get this reinforced iron plate production up and running. As best as possible because we need those resources. Okay, what's the bottleneck here? I don't think it can support three machines. At least one line can't. Yeah, it looks like it can only support two machines. So... I think we should, like, bring more of these up. So you know what, instead... What I'd like to do is feed this thing up here. Let's climb up here. I mean, they put ladders here for a reason, right? So we can do this. Splitter. No, we need a merger here. And... Top one. Yeah, there we go. So we have the top machine being fed. Let's go back up here. Also means we can feed a third machine. Let's do that. Can't afford them anymore. Okay. Four of these. Wait, 
I was pressing the wrong key. Hang on. He will take them. do this. Okay, we will need a splitter. We'll get rid of this. like that. Okay, we will have to... We'll have to put another splitter over here. But let's get this running first. Oh, I don't like that. So don't like that. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Okay, we will have to put a splitter over here. And then we can also put a fourth Fourth assembler, we need more of these things. They're now being produced in massive quantities. Assembler. Okay, guys, we are almost done this. Okay, we will put a splitter here, though it won't actually split anything. Honestly, maybe we should just do this and it'll look a lot cleaner. There we go. Okay, four assemblers doing reinforced iron plate. Okay, merger here. Can't afford, huh? Let's see about that. And for the time being, what I want to do is add storage. Where are you? Storage container. And this is more of a temporary thing. Because these things will actually be used for the smart plating eventually. Oh, we need to power this up. We can't be forgetting that.
Okay, let's see. How productive are you? Okay, so this is completely saturated, it looks like. Let's double check these things. Yeah, it looks like it's completely saturated. We're good. Alright. Well, one final check. We got to make sure as going into the storage. Yes, it is. Now, we will be getting these plates at a much faster rate than the one over there, but we'll still use that because we need all of those reinforced iron plates for, like, everything. Oh my god. We're done. And don't do that. So there we go. Now what's the next recipe on the list? Actually, let's check our power consumption because we added a lot of machines. We're still good. Actually, I can see all of our biomass reactors here. There's only one reactor that still has fuel. Yeah, so 630 capacity. So once that expires, this will be at 600 using coal power, which is good. All right, what's next on the list? Okay, what's modular frames? So we need reinforced iron plates and iron rods. Okay, so what can we do with this? Hmm. We can't really add additional lines, can we? At least not yet. Um, double check our production here. Okay, this is fine. We got an extra 50 plates. This is working, except the iron rods aren't being consumed. But we do need to continue working on automation. Like, we still have to do copper stuff. Still need to add that to the factory. And, okay, so we do need rotors. It's this green power slugs. Get power shards. Okay, so we need rods and screws. I wonder, can we break off another one of these? Maybe like do the rotors over here? Okay, so screws. Um, let me think here. Okay, double check the recipe. We do need... Yeah, screws, iron rods. So the rods are over here. We have screws over here. 